a throw in that game. It went the distance, crossed, just getting over the line. And we've just witnessed Ryan Searle come from 5-3 down to beat Daryl Gurney 6-5. As we move on to the final game of this afternoon session. And it might be a surprise to some to see the name Madaj Razma because he was in a section where he's had to beat the number one seed, Dave Chisnell, and the very informed Chris Doby as well. So I'm not going to write him off like I have in his two previous games, but you have to make Joe Cullen a big favourite in this one. Now, Joe Cullen has been in Germany now for about a week and he played a couple of players' championship. And in his words to me, he said he was absolutely useless. But he's coming here, he's had a good win yesterday. Or on the back of reaching the final of the Austrian Darts Open, where he lost out to Luke Littler. I think he'll see this as a real potential opportunity against Madaj Rasma, who can be a tricky customer this against anybody. But Dan Dawson, you'd have to make Joe Cullen a favourite for this game. Yeah, you would, but Joe even came into the little official's room yesterday after his win. Said, Did you see my average the other day on the Pro Tour? I was only in the 70s, I didn't even want to look at it. And I assumed that he was ill or not feeling well or something. No, nothing wrong at all. Just nothing happened. If he has a performance like that, then Madras Rasma could be reaching the quarterfinals of the European Tour event for just a second time in his career. The other time he did it was a couple of years ago in Trier. He went to the semi finals, only lost out narrowly, last leg decided to Roby John Rodriguez. 96. Well, I didn't know if it was a strategy played by Joe, but right on the first clip there, we saw a, a quick picture of Joe's wife. She's arrived just a couple of days. And I didn't know if it was on the back of that poor display at the Players' Championships, and he's rang the missuses and said, get to Germany, I need your support. First time she's been to a Euro Tour in a decade, she tells me. After vi visiting museums, etc., Joe Cullen said it's her last. As he looks at the big fish. Fifty-seven. Not much Madders happening for him there. Anything better for Madders? Potentially. It could happen. Oh, Madders Rasma misses the bullseye for a 170 to start. Fifty-three. Madras, you require thirty-five. Open and break a throw. In a really good start here for the Latvian. It was sixteen. Just a little move over to the hockey. Goes back to where he started. Opens the bed. Nineteen. Do you require sixty? It's not in the way. Uh, that's not very close. Double ten. Well, he started slowly yesterday, Joe Cully. He was 2 0 down to James Wade before winning six of the next seven legs, playing really, really well. But he would have wanted to not start in a similar fashion today, but kind of feels like he is. Game shot the first leg. Manas Rasma. Yeah, we had a little Seven conversation Manas yesterday, Dan, first. about the reasons why Game Madars will often start on the 19s. So I did a little bit of. Detective work, and yesterday he was pinging that treble 19 on a ratio of 49%. So one in two darts, he was hitting that treble 19. 41. Whereas on the treble 20, he was only hitting it one in every three darts, less than 30%. That's why he uses that treble 19 as a real essential part of his arsenal. Yo, Joe Cullen managed to beat Wade without many 180s, he only hit one. Madras Rasma beat Dave Chisner when he said after the match, my treble 19's turned up. And when they do, he is so dangerous. He, he'll play entire legs on 58. it. And he's pinged a couple in here already. He's going back down there. Well, it might be a guy playing predominantly on 60 against a guy playing predominantly on 57 and it's who hits it most. And if Madders is in the form of yesterday, last night against Dave Chisnell, he can win that battle. I've got a big note on my pad saying, don't write off Madars Rasma this time, Glenn, because I expected Dobie to beat him. Expected Chizzy to beat him. Right 
have to come back from 2-0 down again here, Dan. Meadows, you've acquired 67. Single 18. 2-0 lead, double 16. And the Latvian number one has started strongly in this one. Ninety-three. Scoring's been okay for the first nine. That's where his setup play and his finishing, Joe. Will be a cause for concern. He won't panic just yet. He's a, he's a major winner, remember, Joe Cullen. So he's been in this position a, a thousand times. But he won't feel comfortable right now. One hundred and thirty-one. Bit more like it from Cullen. Two unseeded players already through to the final session of action, of course. Mike Decker not seeded. Richie Edhouse not seeded. Matters continues to pile in those trouble 19s. 96. Oh, he's getting a few concerns about Madars recently, but 15 wins out of his past 20 games. Despite the fact he had that loss against his great friend Darius Labanowskis at the last European Tour, but things just seem to be turning around for the Latvian right now. Yeah, I mean, that loss to Darius. That was the only European Tour he'd qualified for prior to this one. He is going to be in Rosmalen in the Netherlands. Can he find the 57 now? No, he can't. It eludes him. But he's going to put some pressure on this. Cullen may only get one dart at the bullseye here. A tricky old customer is Madaz. Just takes his time, he'll dictate the pace. Bullseye. 37. Well, he started Madaz poorly against James 56. Wade. He'll be in a worse position than he was in that game. Double 18. This for 3 0 and a double break. Oh, Madaz Rasma misses a big opportunity. Joe, you require 48. Just look at that reaction. Reaction of man of what have I done? Don't let this man in. Games on the third leg. Joe Cullen. The game Four starts leg, now for Joe Cullen. It was just a hold a throw. What a difference that miss there for Madaz. That final dart hit for Cullen. He's got a winning record against Joe Cullen over the years, Madis Rasma, which perhaps one of those 57. ones that might surprise you. Five wins and four defeats. Their most recent meeting was the back end of last year where he played well, beat him 6-1 in a Players' Championship event. 59. If you're looking at big stage action, though, there are a couple of Euro Tour meetings, both of them won by Cullen. Risa a couple of years ago, and the Danish darts open 96. back when we had a... Scandinavian or Nordic and Baltic Euro Tour. Not on the calendar, hasn't been for some time. We do have the World Series event there, though. Madders will be competing in that. Your favourite hotel as well, Copenhagen. There are some nice ones. There are some not so nice ones. 140. Grimace from Cullen because he's he feels like he's chasing constantly in this game. One hundred and thirty-nine. Still fancy the job now after that first dart. Madaz will be thinking he should get a dart. At, at Madaz, least the bullseye on the one two seven. Just the one treble needed. One of the two darts. Doesn't get it. Cullen will be back. 87. It's nicely tidied up in the end. 188. Such an awkward first dart. I can understand the switch, but once again, Madaz is Madaz, getting opportunities. 40. It's in his hands. And when opportunity knocks, Rasma takes his time. 
20. but doesn't take his chance. This could be 4 0 Rasma. Joe, you require 12. We talked an awful lot how he can play fast, he can play slow. I don't think it's suiting either the pace of this game at the moment because Cullen, no score. despite the fact that they're unlucky, is missing opportunities himself. Maraz, you require 20. 15 missed starts at a double already between the pair of them. Rasma rectify that. He used that one. Oh, Ten. how has it not gone in? Do you require 12? I didn't think he'd get this chance. This for two apiece, and Joe Cullen will be laughing if he finds himself Game two all after this. Maddas Rasma Cullen. could have won all four leg, of the opening is. legs. Joe Game Cullen's on. had darts to win three of them. Fifty-seven. I honestly thought they were the darts to really kick start him because yeah, he's got a wheel one really. Maddas, I mean, he seems to overthink those finishes, doesn't he? He really sort of goes down to a, to a halt. Just with this mic in your hand, you just sort of say to yourself, come on, speed up, Maddas, don't overthink the situation. 93. Having said that, I mean, Maddas Rasma, we've seen him at a nine darter on the Pro Tour, where he went for a wander, started juggling his darts in the middle of the final visit. It's a bit like Rob Cross, he seems fine to just let the tension build because he can deal with it. I mean, he hasn't dealt with it very well in this game. 140. He dealt with it a bit better. He could be nearly out of sight. This is where the prowess on that treble 19 comes in handy. Treble 20 needed. Gets. Once again, how many times do we see these players leave that 170? Oh, this is good. This is really good. Joe Cullen can find that green bit himself. Leaves tops. He's been messy at the back end of legs from Joe Cullen. Whether he's been trying to take out those combo finishes and not really taking big bites out of him, or throwing at the doubles themselves. That is miles off. But that finds the mark, and Joe Cullen is baffled how he's missed double top by such a big margin, but he's leading this match. He sort of looks over there to his wife. I think I said he's three two ups. Very sort of reminiscent of the opening game. You, you watch a Michael Van Gerwen win a match where clearly not happy about the whole situation. I mean, the beauty of Dart is he can win this game, come back, and he's a different player tonight. Hard to explain, just seems to happen. Probably prepared, prepared absolutely perfect. Sometimes it just doesn't happen on them. 99. They played really good stuff in Gratz last time out on the way to the final. Didn't really fire in the final against Luke Little, who was very good. But he was a tournament average of over a ton heading into that final. Beating Labanowskis, Chisnell, Van Veen and Bunting. One hundred and thirty-seven. Guess where he's left again. I, I don't really know why either. I know it leaves a one seventy. A twenty would have left one six seven. But you get more of a benefit of hitting the treble twenty. Then he's got two marker darts in there. Just desperate to leave the big fish. And why? Because you're not going to go for it, or are you? Rasmataz. He's going to go for it. It's the big fish of the Baltic Sea Darts Open. And that's why we're sat in the commentary box and he's on the stage. Method in his madness for that big 17, remember, to leave that 170. That's a celebration. 57. Well, six legs into this. It's three all. We've managed to see a 170 checkout. A load of faffing around from the pair of them. Joe Cullen doesn't seem to understand how he is level in this game. He's 10 points off Madders in the averages. 99. It is a strange old contest. 
But this was the sort of gap in the averages we saw for Richie Edhouse when he was playing Pikachu earlier, and his finishing got him out of trouble. If Cullen does tidy things up at the back end of legs, he can still prevail here. 96. Ninety-six. Just single treble visit at the moment, isn't it, for Joe? Pull it into that treble nineteen again. One hundred and seventy-one. No, 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 nineteen. Eighty-three. Maras, you require one hundred and thirty-five. See another big finish incorporating the ball. What a guide that is. If he gets the treble 20, what a guide it is. Once again, just looks a little fidgety there, doesn't he? Don't know why, though, because that's plump. 110. Could not Joe get any closer. Joe needs a spark. He needs something. A big finish, maybe. A 140 finish. 120. Maras, you require 25. Tidy it up. Double eight for four three. That yeah, is a break of throw. And the Latvian is in charge of this one again. Against the three-time Euro Tour title winner. And he's just telling himself to calm down there, I think, Glenn. Oh, when old Dimitri there, didn't it? It was either that. First. Game on. Oh, he's got his rave music on in his ears. Once again. I mean, the smack bang in the middle, and the clean as a whistle. One hundred and thirty-four. Tell you what, Dan, there won't be many tougher routes to the quarter-final of Dolby, Chisnell, and Cullen. Yeah, Ryan Searle awaiting the winner as well. Matters Rasmus still got work to do. Fifty-eight. See, he is good on the treble 19s, obviously, but it can mess up your approach. Like, if he'd been playing on the 20s there, just three singles, he's a ton away from a finish. Here, he's 102 points away, and he might have to be a bit cute with how he uses the board. Or you could just smash in a 1-8, I suppose. Should be ball with the last. 130. I think we have to stop questioning Rasma at the moment. Is it his way? 58. And it's part of his strength. Maras, you when you're standing behind, you're not really sure. Is he going to throw three darts in three seconds? Is he going to stand back? Is he going to go the 90? He can sort of bamboozle you a little bit. Yeah, this is good, though. Conventional and very good. 102 points. Beautiful setup shot to leave himself on top. And Joe Cullen, he managed to get going against James Wade yesterday. He's not got going at any point in this game, really. Maras, you require 40. Maybe this is why he takes his time on the last. 20. Not to be another missed opportunity. Joey Just 20%. Required, this game should be done and dusted, you know. But Joe Cullen is a dart at tops for parity. He cannot get it up there. He cannot reach double top. He has been low and so low. Maras, what is that 20. about, Glenn? Well, like I said, it's just his, his rhythm doesn't look good. There's belief. Look at him and look at his demeanour there. Just the fact he's just not got his timing right. And the Game pressure from coming the from that man there. Manor Let's give Rasmus a little bit of... A little bit of a razzmatazz. What I would say, the previous game would almost, at this point, 100. give Daryl Gurney the victory before Ryan Searle decided to stab him. That's another thing. And he needs to just, like I said, Joe Cullen needs to have three on the spin, very reminiscent of what Ryan Searle's just 87. done. 87.
40. With so few opportunities in the first half of this Euro Tour season for Madis Razma. Now that he's in one of these tournaments and into the final day, he's got to make it count. If he can make it count, if he can go on a big run here. He'll go into the second half of the season. He will be in Rosmal in the Netherlands, of course, and then we'll have qualifiers for various other Euro Tours at the back end of the 100. year. He could get himself to the European Championship. The player who's been to the match play, of course, he's not really in that discussion at the moment. Win the title, 96. things will be different. That's the opportunities that a European Tour run can do. Talked an awful lot about Richie Eddowes the past couple of weeks, and maybe a little romance story would be a, a fantastic run from the Latvian. Like you said, it's been tricky throughout. Just a leg away. Let's just stand there. Joe likes that rhythm of being on the hockey, and Rasmus' head goes back. And he's set up only. 100. Well, at least he's not left himself tops, because it doesn't look like he can reach that today. Double 16, double 8, that bit, but he's been all right there. 93. Joe, you were quite 32. Get one leg, Game which he does. 16 leg. data on double 16. Tenth leg, Manos of We opened up this match by saying we'd had a couple of belt of games that went the distance 6 5. Joe Cullen can break the throw. And the fact that Manas Razma there's not hit the treble, Joe Cullen hasn't been anywhere near his B game. He needs to find something and he needs to find it now. 96. Surely he doesn't go 11 legs without producing something special, Colin. <laughs> 83. <laughs> 41. Any advantage he had, he's just surrendered right back. And Maddas. Maddas has gone on one of those walks of the nine data there. He's touched every part of the stage, a little nod there. He realised that these three darts are really important, can put him in a fantastic position. Preparation was absolutely perfect. Pre throw routine, exactly how we wanted his to lose from here. A third 1 7 1 in this match from Maddas Rasma. on the 20s this time. He's trying to work out 190 minus 171. 55. One. 135, he narrowly missed the bullseye for earlier. Colin is not putting any pressure on him. He doesn't Madison even need to start on the bullseye. What he does, I don't know. I'm not sure Maddis has figured it out yet. He's realised he's got six darts from here. The plan was clearly to go with the bullseye with the first dart. It won't be now. He can lay it up. He can sink this finish. Double checking the score. 18. He doesn't get, but he will leave himself with match darts at double top. Going into this match, tops wasn't his friend in previous matches, but you dream of these moments. What? Why, why, why? A dead cat shot. Creates a bit of noise in the room. Is it a distraction? Does it put Madders off? The quarterfinals beckon. Twenty. Nowhere near. If there's one thing that irritates me, irritates a player, irritates Rasma. It's some clown whistling on a match dart. Games from the tenth leg. Almost apologetic Joe there, Joe Cullen. Cullen, with that double 13. Leg, Joe whoever that idiot was who was whistling there. It's not wanted. Well, you're right, Guys, but he's missed three for the match. And Joe Cullen will now Game throw on. for the match. I mean, it's kind of an afterthought, a reaction to the crowd there from Madis Razma. He heard it down with every dart. You don't want 57. to turn around. You don't want to let it look like it's affecting you. 
The booing you can handle, the screaming and shouting you can deal with, the whistling gets on your nerves. 133. Reaction from Rasmatas. One hundred and forty. Bit more like it from Colin. But he's been outscored in this game. Mattis has had twenty-four darts at double in this match. Three of them for the match. Even the treble nineteen's going dry now. That's what it means to that be music to the ease of this man. Maybe just that one eighty, which we thought was a dead rubber throw. 97. Back in there. Oh, matters. For the fourth time in the match? Not quite. Guess if you'd said to Joe Cull at the begin this game, you've got six starts from 207 to win it. 57. Just not at the races. Madars has been the better player. Can he get over that winning line? Can he set this up? 100. 96 Jody for the match, unless Cullen can pull this out, and it looks unlikely. Be a worldie. Not even close. But once again. About to see if he can get the crowd involved there with a the set of play for the match. Double 20. A double 18. His fourth match dart. Only ever reached the quarterfinals on the Euro Tour once before. But he's going back there again. Madders Rasma is our last winner of the afternoon. He sees off Joe Cullen for the sixth time in his career. And he's through to the quarterfinals here. The Baltic Sea darts open. He'll be taking on heavy metal Ryan Searle. Join us in a couple of hours here in Kiel, where we'll have the quarters, the semis, and the final. And we are guaranteeing you a new name